In this video, I'm going to show you how to sniff out a username and password using a free cross-platform tool called Wireshark and the Lifehacker homepage to demonstrate how insecure logins over vanilla HTTP connections can be. So first, I'll start capturing network packages with Wireshark. I'm going to capture, start. Then I'll head over to the Lifehacker homepage and I will log in with some fake credentials. Wireshark is capturing all the packets passing back and forth between computers on my network and the internet, including the username and password I just entered. Let's see if we can find it. Let's go to Capture, Stop, and then we only want to examine HTTP connections, so I can filter that out. And now we're just going to look for a post over here in the info. And post is basically the way that most um, forms are submitted on the web. Uh, so in this case, uh, the form would be the login, and I am looking at some of the data passed back and forth. So um, this is a little bit messy, but if I go to analyze, uh, follow TCP stream, I get this nicely formatted uh, chunk of, of the header. And uh, if I go down here to the bottom of it, I can see the username and password. Username Adam Pash, as you saw, and the password was gibberish. Um, as you saw, it was a failed login. But if it were the correct password and login, uh, that's how easy it would have been to sniff out what that password and username was. Um, so in today's post, uh, I'm going to be talking more about Wireshark and network sniffing in general, and then I'm going to give you a few ways to protect yourself against it.